afternoon everyone here we are day two at the us open 2019 we'll get straight into it plenty to get through so i can get the video posted before the matches start let's have a look at yesterday's results um pretty happy overall with the predictions a few of the players made me sweat a little bit made some of my comments look a little bit foolish um let's go through i thought darcy's would get maybe a set from that match he goes out in three garen through in a tight match as expected five sets against eubanks burlich got a lot of work to do um i think he went four nil down in that first set looked like he'd sorted himself out in the second but good effort from the american basil ash billy threw in five expected that to be tight pretty much as expected kudla tipsarovic Goodler threw in four, Clan comfortable straight sets. Uh, Nishikuri had a nice easy first match there. Domino threw, dropped a set. No great shock there. Evans threw, dropped a set. Medvedev threw in two. Fanini, disappointing. Uh, made a little bit when he eventually took the third set. He was behind in that one. I think Opelka served for it. Uh, Delian, having said that he's dog shit on hard courts, he went two sets up, and I was wondering what the hell's going on. Korean carrying injury, retired, um, having got back into it, really. <laughs> Lorenzi playing a guy who was playing his first professional match. Good effort from the American. Lorenzi wasted so many chances, eventually took it in five sets. Djokovic, comfortable. Kekmanovic comfortable. Uh, Dimitrov did play better. Seppi did manage to take the second set. Uh, Dimitrov threw in four. Query, very disappointed there. Took the first set. Londero took the next three. Londero, as I said, had been playing well. Goffin dropped a set. Not a, uh, a huge shot there. Against Mute. Bit disappointed that Norrie didn't manage to close that out. I think he served for the match twice uh, in that fifth set. Lost it in a fifth set tiebreak. <clears throat> Caught for through pretty comfortably. As expected, Cole Schreiber Pui went to four sets. Pui goes through. Somehow wasn't really sure what was going to happen in that one. Expected a little bit more from the Frenchman. Uh, Zumher through in four sets. Courage through comfortably enough good effort from chardy there two sets to one down against hook managed to take it in at five uh cuevas i was gonna say as expected as hoped really cuevas was going to be able to serve well enough to deal with sock no way we could trust sock in his current form Pella, good effort. Took the second set from Karina Buster. Buster threw as expected in four. Lopez, good effort. A little bit disappointed from Fritz. I uh, did say there was some value on Lopez if he served well, and he did. Nishioka dropped a set. Uh, the first one, which was handy. Goes through in four, and Jerry, as expected, was going to have a tough match with the lucky loser, and he goes out in five sets. I'll do the later matches. After we've done the ladies, a few interesting matches there. Pera perhaps suffering from playing a lot of tennis recently. Thought she got back into it. Thought she did get back into it. She took the second set, but goes out in three. Uh, the reason I wasn't watching that one is I was watching Garcia. God knows why. She started reasonably well. To be fair, Jabber isn't having a great season, but did serve well. It's easier to serve well if your opponent is shitting herself on the other side of the net. Um, fully deserved from Jabber, but Garcia had so many chances. Uh, she was up in that tiebreak. She had at least one set point in that tiebreak, and she fell apart, having wasted some chances. I think she went a break. Yeah, she went a break up in the second set, and then her lack of confidence kicked in again, and she shat herself. Uh, I did say Martic was too low at 1.2. I think I'm justified in that. Zidane Sek took it to three. Uh, easy third set. Peterson, reasonably comfortable in that one. Thought Dart would get a little bit more out of that. 
She goes out pretty pretty weakly, really. Sevastova through in two against Bouchard. Pliskova pissed about a lot in her match. She should have won that a lot quicker than she did, but she's through in two tie breaks. Good effort from Conte. Kazakina took the second set from her. Uh, she bounced back well in the third, took that pretty easily. I thought Barty was injured in that first set against Dias. Uh, her stats couldn't have been worse on serve in the first set if she'd just stayed in a chair. It was unbelievable. I thought she has to be injured. It had to be mental, I suppose, as soon as she started in the second set, serving as you'd expect. Um, Dias kept both those sets, well, the first set close. I think she was 3-all in the second. Uh, but it was just too much for her by the time Barty was uh, in the swing. Gasparin threw in two. I thought that would be closer. Kerber, I said. Anything could happen in her matches. She beats herself these days. She won the second set. Six love goes out in three. Alexandrova. Not a shock that she goes through in two sets against Stosa. Davis struggled a little bit against Larson in the first set. From memory, Larson served for that first set. Davis eventually took control. Vero, uh, as expected, beat Gavrilova. Also, as expected, Nicolescu took the first break in her match with Yastremska. Uh, lost that first set, but did bounce back with a 6-1 set in the second set. Yastremska sorted herself out in the third. A little bit surprised that Sue Say needed three sets there, but she's safely through. Expected a bit more from Brady. It's a poor performance from, from her rather than a great performance from Sasnovich. Uh, Sasnovich goes through. Baruk Bank, a rare win for her on hard courts. Kuzmova couldn't deal with the serve, really. A little bit disappointing. Makova did well against Rybakina, through in two. Expected a bit more from Jurovic, whether she's injured there, only took one uh, game from Schweitek. Venus very comfortable, also lost just one game. Zeng suffering, I suspect, from playing a lot of tennis recently. Pong, I thought would have more problems with Lepchenko, she's through in two. Tiebreak in the second, Sakari through against Georgie. Another one where just one game lost, Svitolina reasonably comfortable. Tighter than perhaps it should have been in the second. Um, Golubic Zhang. I was concerned at Golubic not being fit, and I was concerned at Zhang not playing well. Uh, as it turned out, Golubic wasn't fit. Just won three games. Good effort from Siegman there. I'd given Fretch the um, the edge to win that one, to win a close one. <laughs> Uh, in the end, it's Sigmund took it. Kenin, tight sets, but threw in two against Van der Wey. I don't remember who I went for in that one. Possibly Wang. Uh, Zhu goes through in two. McNally, I thought she would need three sets against Baczynski, but she didn't. Let's just look at the late matches. Vavrinka. Uh, didn't think it would be a shock if he dropped a set against Sinner, which he did. He's through in uh, in four sets. Barankis expected a long match there, and he just came through. He was two sets to one down. Federer was terrible in that first set. Amazing that he could uh, lose set to Nagal. Comfortable after that. Bit of a surprise. Williams... I think she's making a bit of a point there against Sharapova, 6-1, 6-1. Wang, I thought, uh, was struggling a little bit more. The sets were close with Dolhide, but she's through in two. And Keys, as expected, through in two sets. So pretty happy with the predictions. I hope you made some money from those. And let's have a look at today's. Okay, here we go. I need to get a blackout blind for this window. There's too much light coming through. That's been sorted. Amazon are delivering as we speak. Uh, I'm going to look at the men's first. Gasquet. Uh, it's the first time they've played Gasquet and Berrettini. Stronger all result, overall results for Berrettini. Gasquet's got better hard court results and recent form is better for Gasquet. Maybe him to win. I don't think he's going to win in straight sets. 
uh, I want to back him above evens, so I said 2.1. Public Giraldo, first time they've played. Overall results fairly even, slightly favour Bublik. Uh, Giraldo's gone through the qualifying rounds. He's got a better win percentage on hard courts in 2019, so it's going to be a close match. I'm favouring Bublik to win. That's uh, so a four or five sets, and it's worth laying the set one winner. Fatangelo, or Fatangela as we call her, against Simon. Head-to-head uh, 1-1, -head -one, most recent January this year on a hard court, Simon in straight sets. Flat one on clay in 2017. This should be a tight match, really. Uh, definitely some value on Fatangela. Uh, lay Simon around 1.3 to 1.35. Uh, remove some liability at 1.7 and lay Simon if he wins set one. <clears throat> Could be a long match. I was thinking my voice was doing okay and it's just gone tits up. Artista Ragu against Kukushkin. Uh, Agu leads 4 1. Most recent was on in indoor hardcore in 2017. He won that in two sets. He won their only hardcore match in 2017 in straight sets. He's got better overall results. Uh, back him if he loses the first set. I don't really want to lay him. Papyrin Dor Del Bonis. Pop leads 1 0. That was January last year on a hard court. He won in three sets. Overall results favour Del Bonis. Hard court results are even in the last 12 months and also in 2019. Longer term hard court results favour Pop. Not much between them. So value on Del Bonis. Um, lay Pop if he breaks first. And back him if he hits 1.9. Certainly won't be over in straight sets. Sonego, Granoyas. Granoyas has won both the previous matches. Uh, one of which was on a hard court in 2018 in straight sets. Sonego has slightly better results in the last 12 months. Uh, their 12 month hard court results are pretty even. Back Sonego around about 1.8. This should be a long match. City pass, Rublev. Head to heads 1 1. There's not too much between them. It's going to be four or five sets. Value on Rublev. Tough to pick a winner there. Uh, lay the set one winner. Edmund Anjar should be three sets really to the Brit, although he rarely does things the easy way. Anjar, very poor on uh, hard courts. On that one back, Edmund, if he does lose the first set. John Isner against Lopez. I don't think Isner's going to have an easy day on that one. Starts at 126. Um, he won their only hardcore match. Results quite even. Garcia Lopez has played a mix of ATP and challenges. Isner's not at his best. Uh, he's just dropped outside the top 10. He's probably going to drop a set there. Back him if he loses set one. Klizan Cilic should be comfortable for Cilic. No value there for me. Sousa Thompson. Head to head 1-1. One, one. Uh, the most recent was in January 2017 on a hard court. Thompson in five sets. Sousa won on hard in 2015 straight sets, so that's four years ago, not hugely relevant. Thompson's better overall results, his hardcore results are also a little better. Sousa reached the fourth round at the US Open last year. Thompson's got the edge, but he's not going to take it in straight sets. I'm going to back him around about 2.2. Vadasco, Kamka, another one where I don't think Vadasco's going to have an easy match. Um, Kamka has got a better overall win percentage. He's been playing challenges. Uh, so obviously against weaker opponents. He's come through the qualifying rounds for this tournament. He was under underdog in two of those qualifying matches. If Vadasco's at his very best, he's going to control this and win in three. He hasn't been recently. But I think Kamka can take a set. 
Uh, another one back Badasco if he loses that first set. Krajanovic, Stieber. Uh, Stieber missed. I think he missed all 2018. Was late to the party this season as well. Did find some form uh, on clay. He doesn't have a great record on hard courts. I think his recent return to form is going to give him a lot of confidence. I think he can take a set, but I don't see Krajinovic losing this one. So another one back the favourite if he loses that first set. Pospisil, Chachanov. No value for me on that one. I, I don't see that being anything other than three sets. Team Fabiano. We can try a small lay on team that one around about 1.1 remove liability 1.2 back him if he does lose the first set uh what did he do he did the quarterfinals last year fourth round in three of the previous four seasons a oh, decent record at the us open i don't see him losing that one famous last words chung s Cabido, Chung 1-0, that was on a hard court in 2018, he won that in straight sets. Chung, slightly better overall results, both have got decent hard court results. Uh, Chung's are a little bit stronger, he's come through the qualifying rounds. Escobedo's won just one main draw US Open match in the past, and that was by retirement. So no value unless Chung loses that first set. Struff starts as favourite against Rude. I think Rude's going to be competitive. They're fairly evenly matched on clay. Uh, lay Struff around 1.3, take some liability at 1.6, and it's worth laying the first set winner. Zverev against Albert. I don't think Zverev's going to have that all his own way. Albert reached the third round in 2017. Zverev made the third round last year. Albert's actually got better hardcore results. Um, got a favour Zverev to win it. He's starting to believe he can do something in the slams. But I think Albert's going to take a set. Uh, 1.75 on Zverev is a decent place to start. Harris Gerasimov. They're pretty even really. Uh, even overall, even on hard courts in the last 12 months. Grasimov does lead on hard courts in 2019. I'm giving him a slight edge and I'm looking for 1.95 before I get involved on him. Humber against Kopil. Kopil's very poor on hard courts. Excellent on indoor hard courts, but it doesn't translate well to, to hard courts. I want at least 1.7 really on Humbert. I've written on the on the email 165 to 1.7. I think I'll hold out for 1.7. Copiel can be a tricky opponent, even though it doesn't usually get the final result on hard courts. Schwartzman, Harsa, Harsa not being in great form, although he leaves the head-to-head 5-0. -head uh, the most recent was 2017 on a hard court, three sets. Better overall results for Schwartz. His hardcore results are also stronger. Hasa did play reasonably well last week and reached the third round. Play Schwartzman at around 1.2, remove some liability at 1.4. I'm looking for Haas to serve well and keep the sets tight. Back Schwartzman if he loses set one. Song. I think he's just going to have too much for Sangren today. Sangren's been in decent form. Did meet a sorry did beat uh, a struggling Murray recently. I'm going to go for 1.7 on Songa. I think he's going to be focused because it's a slam. Crowd's going to be with Sangren. I don't. I still think he's going to get too much out of that match. Uh, Maya, first time they've played. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Huang's best results are in challenges. 
uh, may have reached the third round of the US Open 2017. He retired in the first round last season. I'm going for Mayer to take this one, looking for 1.95. Kokinakis, Ivashka, first time they played. Overall results favour Kok. He's so childish. His hardcore results are much stronger. Uh, Ivashka's come through the qualifying rounds. The sets should be pretty close. Good chance of tie breaks. Slight edge to Kokinakis, lay Ivashka around 1.7. And again, lay the first set winner. Whenever it's a close match in a, a best of uh, five tournament, um, it is worth laying the first set winner each time. Trust me, trust me. Kovalik Bedene, first time they've played, better overall results for Bedene. Uh, Kovalik pretty poor on hard courts, that should be straight sets for the ex Brit. No value really again unless he loses the first set. Cecinato hasn't been in great form, he takes on Lark Sonnen. Marks won their only previous match, that was October 2018, indoor hard court two sets. Lark's got better overall results. Chech has won one of his last ten, and the win was due to retirement. Lark won a challenge title on hard courts in February. Struggling to find something positive for him as well. He has lost his last six on hard courts since winning that title. Really, if Cecinato is going to get his first proper win for months, today's the best chance he's going to get. And I'm actually going to back him about around 1.85. It does seem quite similar to my opinion on Garcia yesterday, so be careful. I don't think he's going to win in straight sets. Just be careful. Spidey sense is tingling. Monfils against Ramos. Monfils 3-1. Um, most recent was on clay in 2019. Ramos won that in two. Monfils' last two wins were on hard courts, 2019 and 2016. Ramos has got a poor record on hard courts. If Monfils is anywhere near his best, he takes that probably in straight sets. No value unless Monfils does lose that first set. Shapovalov, Eliasim, Shap leads 2-1. Most recent was on clay, earlier seen one in two sets. Shap won their only hard court match at this tournament last season. Uh, that was when earlier seen retired at one set all. Earlier seen got better overall results in the last 12 months and also this year. He also leads on hard courts. Uh, but his lead isn't huge in 2019, not too much between them. I'm giving a slight edge to Shapovalov in this one. It's going to be four or five sets, and I'm looking to lay the set one winner. Pair against Schnur. First time they've played, slightly better results for Pair. Quite closely matched on hard court. Schnur does play mainly challenges. Pair has lost in the second round six times at the US Open. He usually scrapes through the first round, made the fourth round in 2015. Pair's going to make hard work of this. Back him if he does get broken, and also Schnur holds. He should have enough to get through, but it's going to be messy. Karlovic, TFO, first time they've played. Karlovic has got better overall results. <coughs> Excuse me, he leads on hard courts, but not too much between them. Recent form is better for TFO. There's got to be some value on Karlovic on a hard court. He's serving reasonably well. TFO starts at 1.3. Uh, lay him round about 1.2 and remove some liability at 1.4. And again, it's worth laying the set one winner. Millman against Nadal. Millman hasn't really troubled anybody of note. Um... Could try a small lay and get out at 1.1, but probably not worth the effort. Steve Johnson against Kyrgios. Johnson won their only previous match when Kyrgios retired in 2017. 
Overall results favour Kyrgios, he also leads on hard courts, although Johnson has been in pretty crap form for a while, but he has started to play better, got a little bit of confidence back, uh, and he's been serving certainly better than he has been for the last few months. I don't think Kyrgios is going to have it all his own way, uh, but this match really is all about Kyrgios. There's nothing quirky about Johnson's game, he's big serve, he's got a big forehand. But it, it's a bog standard game, although he does it well when he's in form. We can try a lay on Kyrgios, and I think the sets are going to be tight. Lay him around 1.3, take some liability out 1.6, and back Kyrgios if he loses the first set. Quick drink. On to the ladies. Alatova Kvitova, first time they've played. 12 months. 12 month results are quite even. Kvitova has been a little bit better in 2019. She has stronger results on hard courts. She's got a decent record at the US Open. Uh, she's reached at least the third round since 2011. Alatova's come through the qualifying rounds. She has won in the first round at the US Open um, all three times that she's that she's been in the main draw. She was underdog each time, so let's not write her off totally. We can try a lay on Kvitova, remove some liability at 1.3 and back her if she loses the first set. Corn A against Peg Ugly. Crowd will be with Peg. This is the first time they've played. Overall results favour Peg. Uh, ROI is a lot higher. Hardcore results are also stronger. She won the title in Washington last month. Cornu reached the quarterfinal, quarterfinals last week. Although won the second round match by retirement. I'm looking to back the American around about 1.85. Kuda Matata has much better results this year. De Lorenzo has had some decent performances. I don't think she's going to roll over. I'm looking for 1.85 to 1.9 on Kuda Matova. Resisting the urge to sing. Gregez against Vic. Gregez 3-0. Most recent July 2018 on clay two sets. She won on hard court in 2018 in straight sets. Vic has slightly better win percentage in the last 12 months and also in 2019. Um, Hardcore results are pretty even. Long term hardcore results favour Gregor's. I give her the edge partly because of the head to head, partly because of the long term hardcore uh, advantage that she's got, but she's priced way too low. Backer if she gets broken. I think we're going to get three sets in that one. Uh, if you want to lay Goeges after she breaks first, if she breaks pretty early, definitely worth a lay on her. Krunic, Ostapenko. Krunic won their only previous match. <clears throat> both players are having poor seasons. And they've both won well below 40% of the matches. Ostapenko reached the third round recently in Toronto. I'm giving her the edge based on recent form. Uh, but there's going to be a few breaks to serve back Ostapenko after she gets broken. Manela Bencic. Bencic has won both the previous matches. Uh, one on clay in 2019, one on a hard court in 2013. Much stronger results for Bencic. Worth a lay on her. Take some liability out at 1.2, but she should win that reasonably comfortably. Petkovic, Buzanescu, pretty evenly matched really. Petkovic won their only previous match back in 2009, not relevant. Better results, overall results for Petkovic. Both have got poor hard court records uh, and both have won three of the last ten on hard courts. Pretty much anything can happen in this one. I give a slight edge to Petkovic. Petkovic, sorry, Petkovic. Cross between Petkovic and Kvitova, that'd be good. Lay whoever breaks first and lay the set one winner. Risk Muguruza. Muguruza leads 2-1. Most recent was last September uh, on a hard court. Risk won that in straight sets. Muguruza won the previous month 
on hardcore also in two sets. Hardcore results favour Muguruza. Risk is going to be competitive. I think she's going to take a set back Muguruza just above evens. 2.1-ish. Ozaka Blinkova. Blinkova. First time they've played. Obviously Ozaka won the tournament last year. Form hasn't been amazing since. Although she is still ranked uh, number one. We need a slow start from Azaka. Back if she gets broken. Um, I don't think we need a huge price on her today. Again, famous last words. I've got to stop saying things like that. Gilbert Burton should be one-sided. Uh, Gilbert's best hardcore results have been in ITF tournaments. She lost in the qualifying rounds. Gets a lucky loser place in the main draw. No value on that for me. Sharma Lynette. Sharma won the previous match 2019 on a clay court two sets. She's got slightly better overall results in the last 12 months and also 2019. Hardcore results are pretty even. Uh, although Sharma has got better 12 month hardcore results. Lynette won the title in New York last week as a qualifier. She's played a lot of matches there. There's a chance she's going to be a little bit tired, but I still think she's going to get through this one. I'm looking for 1.8. I think she'll still be on a high from the way she played last week. She'll be enjoying her tennis a little bit more than she has been. And I think she'll do the biz. Katie Volinette. She was always going to be a tennis player. Uh, Andrescu won their only previous match that was in January this year on a hard court straight sets. Much stronger results for her. She won the title in Toronto three weeks ago. No value for me. Collins against Herzog. First time they've played, slightly better overall results for Herzog. Collins has been a little bit better on hard courts this season. Decent chance of three sets. I'm looking for 1.85. Don't think he, uh, Gibbs is going to give Halep too many problems. Halep can always give herself a few problems. I think it could be worth a small lay. Um, top players can often start a little bit slowly in the first couple of rounds of slams. Worth a lay, take some liability out at 1.15. Don't get greedy. Canepi Maria. Canepi won the previous match that was 2007 on a grass court two sets not particularly relevant uh, she's got better overall results maria's results are slightly better on hard court she did retire from a second round match uh, three weeks ago if she's had time to get over that if it wasn't anything too major but i still think canep is going to take this 1.7 on her i'll wait for her to get broken parmentier pavlyachenkova Pavantier won their previous match uh, 2016 on a hard court two sets. Slightly better results for Pavlyachenkova, but she's won two of her last ten. Pavantier won four of her last ten. They've both they've both won three of their last ten on hard courts. So some value on Pavantier. She can be a tricky opponent. Pavlyachenkova not been at her best this year. I think it's worth backing Pav if she gets broken first. I think she'll take it, but it won't be easy. Wang Flipkins, both lucky losers. First time they've played. Better overall results for Wang. She's got better hard court results, although she does play mainly ITFs. Decent chance of three sets. Slight edge for Wang to win. Wang to win. Lay Flipkins around 1.55. Take some liability out round about evens. Hogenkamp, Vekic. First time they've played. Slightly better overall results for Vekic. Uh, ROI is higher for her. Hogenkamp has stronger hardcore results. Um, but she plays mainly ITF tournaments. Obviously against weaker opponents. Back Vekic if she loses the first set, which I don't think is going to happen. I think she's going to take that in two. Contavit, Soribes, Tomo. Contavit 1-0. That was 
January this year on a hard court two sets. Overall results quite close. Slight edge to Contivit. Hard court results um, are quite even. Tormo's best results though were in ITFs. Another one, no value unless she loses the first set. Uh, if she's focused and concentrates, she'll win that one in two. Mertens, Tykeman, first time they played. Overall results favour Tykeman. Mertens has got better hardcore results. She reached the fourth round last year. Tykeman made the second round as a qualifier. I think she can keep at least one of the sets close in this one. Got to favour Burtons, Burtons, Mertens to win it. Back if she gets broken. Tomljanovic, Buskova. Buskova starts at 1.54. It's the first time they've played. Better overall results for her. Hardcore results are also stronger. Decent chance of three sets. However, just be careful. Tomljanovic retired from Toronto three weeks ago. He's had time to recover. I think she'll be competitive. Back Buskova around 1.8. Taylor Townsend, Kozlova. Uh, Townsend's better overall results. Hardcore results are also better. I think the sets are going to be tight. 1.8 on Townsend. Wozniaki Wang. Wozniaki won their only previous match. That was 2015 on a hardcore in two sets. Overall results are quite even in the 12 months. Uh, Wang actually has better hardcore results. Wozniaki's had some injury issues and has obviously been diagnosed with uh, arthritis I think she probably wins this one it isn't going to be an easy match lay her if she breaks first and back her around about 1.8 looking for Wozniaki to take that one Babos Suarez Navarro Navarro's won all four of the previous matches most recent one was January last year on a hard court three sets two of the matches were on hard courts overall results are quite even not too much between them on hard courts. A uh, good chance of three sets. Navarro at 1.9 is my entry target. Podopova, Goff. I think Goff, her price has been pushed down a little bit. She obviously had a great tournament at Wimbledon. Hasn't been amazing since. First time they've played. Uh, overall results do favour her. Should be a close match. Good chance of three sets. Uh, be careful that Podopova retired from New York last week. We don't know uh, what state she's going to be in, so I'm going to look to back and go for around 1.9. We could get that quite easily in the early couple of games. Also, Strichkova could be a bit of an upset in this one. It's the first time they've played. Better win percentage for Pulsova. But again, most of her matches are in ITF. Some value on her anyway. Strichkova hasn't been too good just recently. I think it's definitely worth laying her around about 1.2. Liability out at 1.4. And lay the set one winner. Kostea Siniakova. Siniakova seems to have tamed her shit serve to some degree. To at least allow her to be competitive. Uh, Kostea has won both the previous matches. The last was on clay 2018. That went to three sets. They've never met on a hard court. Results favour Siniakova. She reached the semis last week. I think she's going to take this. Back her if she gets broken. And Kostea holds just to get that extra extra few ticks. Putin saver. Uh, Brengel. First time they've met. Overall results pretty close. Brengel slightly better hard court results. She did win an ITF title three weeks ago. Her best results were both in ITFs. Chance of three sets. Lay Putin Saver if she breaks. Uh, and back her if she gets broken. Nearly there. Kuznetsova found some real form uh, in Cincinnati two weeks ago. She reached the final there. Nobody expected that. If she can maintain that form, she's going to win pretty comfortably today. Backer if she does lose the first set. Lefty Pliskova against Diane Parry. First time they've played. Better win percentage for Parry. She does play ITFs. Uh, she hasn't played a match on hard courts before. That's not going to help her. Uh, no price at 1.16 to be back in Pliskova. Worth laying her, take some liability out at 1.3, but I do expect her to win. 
Sabalenka, Azarenka, when I looked at that, initially my gut feeling was it was going to be very close. Having looked at the stats, overall results are pretty even. Slight edge for Sabalenka, her hard court results are stronger. I think it's going to be three sets. I'm going with Sabalenka to win this one. Uh, but I'm not going to back her below 2.1, 2.2, something around there. Last one, Sloan, Stevens, Kalinskaya. First time they've played. Kalinskaya's got better overall results. Another one does play a lot of ITFs. But she has had some, uh, some success in main tour WTA events. She reached the semi-finals in Washington last month as a qualifier. That was on hard courts. She's come through the qualifying rounds this tournament. Uh, Stevens not being in the best recent form. She seems really lacking in confidence. Obviously, she won this title back in 2017. She made the quarterfinals last year. She's going to be motivated. She's got the ability to do well again. Can she get her head on straight? Don't know. Lay Stevens around 1.25. Remove some liability at 1.5. And I think it's worth backing Stevens if she does get broken. I don't expect her to have an easy match. That's it for today. Hope that proves to be useful in the matches. Um, I'll be in the chat room a little bit later on today. I've got something to do in the middle of the afternoon. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow.